Welcome to the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss how does single phase half bridge inverter operate. What do we mean by single phase half bridge inverter? A single phase half bridge inverter is a type of inverter uh, that converts DC power into AC power, producing an alternating voltage and current to produce the device. That means using half bridge inverter, you can convert the DC power into AC power. The major component of half bridge inverters are uh, two power electronic switches, which can be transistors or thyristors. Usually, transistors are preferred. So, the, uh, uh, by using the switches, the entire control process will be taken place. So, that is the brief introduction to single phase half bridge inverter. I will let you know why single phase half bridge inverters are very least used, less popularly used. What are the reasons? Yes, I will let you know. Uh, so, we have the circuit diagram of single phase half bridge inverter. As you can see, S1 and S2, these are the two power electronic switches. And uh, D1 and D2 are prevailing diode to ensure the protection of uh, the power switches S1 and S2 respectively. Else, uh, the reverse voltage will come across the switch S1 and S2 and that those switches will be getting spoiled. To overcome that, we have like a prevailing action to provide the like uh, by using prevailing diodes, prevailing action will be taken place. Another one is, uh, so we have like uh, the DC supply. It is divided by Vs2 and uh, Vs by 2, Vs by 2. Uh, also, we can have the capacitor divider so that uh, the like voltage can be balanced accordingly. Uh, then uh, we, we have a load uh, which is connected at the center position of Vs2, Vs divided by 2, Vs by, divided by 2. Uh, it, is, it is at the middle portion as you can observe very clearly. Okay, I, I notice nothing but the load current. Okay, uh, C notice not, V notice nothing but the voltage across the load that must be AC, correct. That's what positive and negative you can see. If okay, So these are the uh, basic information about the circuit diagram of single phase uh, half bridge inverter. The components as you can observe, we have DC source. We, it is divided actually. Uh, next one is two switching devices S1 and S2. It can be made up of either MOSFET or IGBT or even thyristors so family is also okay. Then load, which can be like a motor load or light load. Uh, usually for this combination, we'll be using light load only. This is actually half bridge inverter. No? So we'll be using the light load, not for uh, like a power load. Other one is capacitor. We can we connect one capacitor as well uh, to split the input voltage into equal parts. So that operation will be balanced. These are the component details. How does it work? Yes, to explain the working, uh, it is better to see the animation. There is one animation you can see. Okay, so first of all, the S1 will be on. Okay, so by providing the suitable gating pulse, S1 will be on. Okay, so what will happen if S1 is on? There is a current flow from Vs divided by 2. Okay, there is a current flow. Let me see the current flow. Uh, you can see the current flow. Okay. So, whenever the current flow is taken place, what is going to happen? Current will be passing through the load. At that time, what will happen? The voltage across the load become high. Correct, no? That means positive. Also, the current, what is the direction of input current? Input current direction will be positive only. Even uh, the, uh, the, the, even we can say the load current also will be positive. But what about uh, like current through the switch to no current will be passing through the switch to because it is in the open condition. So that is what uh, you can observe the current through IS2. IS2 means current which is passing through the switch number 2. That is 0 only. What about IS1? Maximum current flows through the switch 1 because it is getting on. Correct, no? Yes. So that's what about like uh, uh, the first the operation during the first half cycle. Now, uh, what will happen when S2 is on? Now look at another diagram. So whenever S2 is on, uh, the current flow will be taken place in this particular direction. So here it is very clear that uh, the output voltage is getting reversed. That is very clear. Okay, output voltage is getting reversed. Uh, now, what about the IS2? IS2 will be maximum so that the current you can get the output cur out the current through the switches will be maximum. So that is what I mentioned like IS2 is high. What about IS1? IS1 will be zero because no current will be passing through S1. Do remember that the switches will not operate simultaneously. A switch S1 will turn on first, thereafter S2 will be turned on. So that is the assumption uh, you need to consider. So that is a, not assumption, that is a real reality which is concerned here. 
what about the load current? Load current is also getting reversed. Correct. So that's what exactly happening here. So we have like a positive half cycle and negative half cycle. The cycle will be repeated. Okay. So based upon the switching action, cycle will be repeated. You will be getting like a square pulses. It is not sinusoidal. We are, we are able to get the square. Okay. So it's not suitable for wide range of application, especially sensitive electronics. It's not suitable where uh, the heating and lighting application, this is okay. So that is a major setback. The cycle is getting repeated as you can observe very clearly. Okay, so this is the way how does single single phase half bridge uh, inverter function. So for your betterment, I have written the details in a, a better manner so that you can write the same content in the examination. S1 is on positive half cycle. Uh, then uh, the positive half cycle that is uh, getting off uh, like a voltage, uh, positive voltage will come across the load. Okay. Uh, then uh, at that time S2 remains off only. Whenever S2 is on, S1 is automatically off. So the negative voltage come across the load, okay, creating the alternating effect. That is what we call it as like an alternating positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle. However, the shape will be like a square wave board. That is what uh, you can, you can uh, make a conclusion that uh, it is not well suited for all the applications. It is only suitable for the heating or lighting. Okay, for sensitive operate, sensitive load, uh, the square wave is not at all convenient because uh, the more uh, amount of harmonic content, it is not suitable. This configuration is simpler. That is a plus point. Okay, uh, compared to full bridge inverter, the number of components are limited. Even half bridge means only half of the DC voltage is applied at a time, alternating between positive and negative half cycle. So that uh, the magnitude is less compared to a single, uh, full, single phase full bridge inverter. So these are the uh, peculiarity of uh, single phase half bridge inverter. So now uh, let me have a question, uh, question and answer session. If you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. So let me conclude the session. We discussed about what do you mean by uh, single phase half bridge inverter? How does it work? What are the major components which are applicable? And uh, what are the major uh, limitations uh, or constraints of single phase half bridge inverter? Even I have discussed the positive features as well. So I would like to request if you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. I would like to revert. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.